Hi, I'm Cherilyn Santaromana, Dean of the College of Computer Studies of Cebu Institute of Technology University. I am also a member of the Commission on Higher Education Technical Committee for Computer Science. This committee is in charge of crafting policy standards and guidelines governing computer science education in the country. Let me answer this question by referring to you to a document which is considered the Bible of all computing curricular programs being followed by all universities in the world. No? This is the Computing Curricula 2005 covering the differences among the various degree programs in computing, computer engineering, computer science, information systems, IET, and software engineering, and was developed by the Association of Computing Machinery together with Association for Information Systems and the Computer Society. This is the basis for all other uh, computing curricular framework is specific to the different programs. Now let me show you by means of a graph the, the difference among the three programs. Uh, here is a graph describing the major difference among the three programs. At the top column of the graph, you have organizational issues and information systems. In the center, that's software. At the bottom level, you have hardware. At the left side, you have the theoretical side. And on the right side here, you have the more applied side. So hardware, software, organization, theoretical, applied. So if you look at the definition of computer engineering, for example, if you can see here, computer engineering covers the hardware side from the theoretical all the way to the applied, touching a little bit on software in the middle. Not so much on the theoretical, not so much on the applied. The center of the software is here. But you can see that the focus of computer engineering is primarily on hardware. On the other hand, for computer science, you can see from the graph that it covers the center part. Now this center part is software from the theoretical going to the more applied, but not so much on the application de deployment and configuration side. So primarily, computer science is concerned about software. On the other hand, for information technology, it's basically software also, but on the applied side and covering the organization also. So this means how do you use computer systems in an organization, and it also covers the software side, but more on the application deployment configuration side. So the computer science covers software from the theoretical, going to the applied side, IT covers software, covering the organization, the application deployment and configuration side. But all of these three programs have software in common, except that Primarily, computer science is actually covering software in general. So, software engin engineers, software developers, and so on, programming is basically covered by computer science. Networking, um, databases, web, and so on, application deployment is covered by information technology. Actually, both programs CS and IT have a um, very high employability rate, but because of the very few number of computer science graduates, there's a tendency for almost all of the computer science graduates to be hired even before graduation. So a lot of companies, they go to CIT to recruit the graduates and because of the few number of computer science graduates, so it's, most of them get hired before graduation. But for IT, there's also a lot of opportunities because IT is broader, you can actually work as a systems administrator, database administrator, web administrator, app developer, and so on. On the other hand, for computer science, we expect that they will be hired as software engineers, software developers. So CIT, I think, is a very good university for computer science and IT education. Uh, first and foremost, because we are a child center of excellence in IT education, there are only very few schools in the Philippines that have been categorized as centers of excellence. It's something that uh, you have to apply for and be evaluated by a panel of experts before you actually get that particular title of being a center of excellence. Second, we have very strong industry linkage programs. Some of our elective programs are actually handled by our industry partners. 
and so our students get exposed to industry practices before graduation, making them ready to tackle real-world projects immediately after graduation. Third, we actively expose our students to a lot of certification exams. Before graduation, some of our students pass the PhilNet exam, the Proxor exam, the Philippine Programmers Rating, the Field ITGCE. Actually, because of the certifications, they actually get additional salary when they get hired by companies because some companies consider the certification as additional um, credentials for this, for this student. So we make sure that our students are ready to work in the real world, uh, which is being, just being true to our mission of providing quality industry standard computing education.